Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Mart and I'm filming this in my storage unit today. What I do on this channel is I show off four books from random, from random, and I end on a key issue. I started laughing at the start of this video because I turned it, the the, cam, uh, the video on and the tripod went kind of back and forth and I thought it was all just going to go A over T. Uh, and thankfully it did not stay in place. So uh, <laughs> I have the four issues here in front of me, so let's kick it off. The first one I want to show off is Amazing Spider-Man issue 356. Uh, it's just at the start of Mark Bagley's run on the series. And it's the time when I started reading Amazing Spider-Man and when I fell in love with the character, when I fell in love with the medium of comic books. This series <clears throat> um, showed, uh, this series and, and Fantastic Four, uh, they showed me what you could do with the, with the medium of, of comic books, where you could tell action-packed, fun adventure stories and you, you could also uh, incorporate... Um, slice of life um soap opera type drama um and <clears throat> i think particularly in the 90s um uh like when 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 image started especially uh they the guys at image would concentrate purely on the action so the splash pages uh the the big muscles the the girls with the big boobs and the big butts um and you knew what you were getting uh with that kind of book um, where if you have you have uh, the stuff at Marvel right now, which is all kind of slice of life. So they've they've done away with the action. Uh, they've done away with the the big muscles and um, kind of both both uh, genres do a disservice to each other because <clears throat> you need to have a fifty fifty split of drama and action um, to keep things moving, to keep things interesting, um, and to kind of show off that you're not just a one-trick pony in terms of uh, writing these uh, comic books. Nice artwork, though. <laughs> now, what I was just talking about with the um, with the Slice of Life, this is where I think Marvel are kind of going wrong. Um, it's Mr. and Mrs. X, issue 6, and it's a Dodson cover, uh, Terry Dodson cover. Uh, it's written by um, Kelly Thompson, um, and... I picked this up um, as part of like a big bulk uh, purchase and I wanted to like it because the cover uh, really uh, kind of captured my interest. Uh, but then when I, I read it, I just said, this is not for me. I am not the demographic for this uh, series. Um, and I don't want to say, I don't want to say this, this is crap because it, it isn't. It's just that <clears throat> It's not for me, and that is purely okay. For me, for me, it's it, it's a mixture of this, and it's a mixture of action. Uh, it, it, again, it needs to be 50-50 uh, to keep myself interested, um, and I think also to bring uh, to, to to keep a lot of people uh, in, engaged with comic books. Because when you just have slice of life, um, people who who want the slice of life and they want action they're going to start waning. They're going to say, well, you know what? This isn't 100% of what I want. So I'm either going to just stop or I'm going to look elsewhere for my entertainment. Um, so hopefully, you know, I, I always say I live in hope. I live in hope that Marvel and DC uh, understand this, that you, you need both sides of the coin in order to um, keep fans interested. And hopefully uh, with their, their X-Men relaunch, uh, and uh, with, with DC's uh, absolute power, hopefully we get that. Yeah. Again, I live in hope. Now, the next issue I want to show off is issue 103 of Green Lantern, and it's during, obviously, as you can see, it's the time when Green Lantern was uh, traveling around with Green Arrow. Again, they were j just like the previous issue; they were pushing the social agenda. Um, and it was less on the story. Uh, like, sorry, less on the story. Uh, less on sorry. Less on the action and more on the social commentary. Um, and you know, more power to you. That's fantastic. If that's the type of story you want to tell. I think if I had been reading this when it came out, 
um, and I don't know the year it did come out, but um, if I had seen this on the shop, I don't know if this would be something that I would be terribly interested in. I do have, I, I, I bought a bunch of uh, Green Lanterns around this era, and I, I read them back to back, uh, but, and after a while, it got a little bit, a little bit much for me, uh, where I was becoming somewhat bored uh, with the story. The artwork was very nice, um, but the story itself, uh, again, wasn't for me. Um, which was disappointing because, look, I do read Green Arrow at the moment. I, I do enjoy the character of Green Arrow, and I read Green Lantern. I especially like the character of Green Lantern. Visually, he looks fantastic. But when it is all just social commentary, um, and again, when it's all just slice of life, um, it's not 100% for me. Now, I read this series as a kid. This is the key issue for the video, and I don't know why this issue isn't higher up the ranks in terms of <clears throat> being a key issue, being a sought after issue. And again, I bought this off the off the rack uh, in 1991. It's Action Comics 662. It's the reveal of Captain uh, reveal of Captain America. Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> Superman reveals to Lois Lane that he and Clark Kent are one and the same. Again, just a momentous occasion in the life of Clark Kent and Superman. Um, just an iconic uh, period. And <clears throat> I just don't know what it, what it is. Why is this issue not higher up in terms of people wanting it? Is it just that people don't care? Is it because it's been now 32, 33 years yeah, 33 years since this issue happened. So it was like, well, that happened 33 years ago. Why would I track it down? Um, for me, though, uh, and maybe because I lived through this period, um, for me, this is a major issue um, and, and, and a fantastic issue. Very well done. Um, it was a sense of foreboding, a sense of danger um, and a sense of urgency that Clark felt the need to reveal to him so, to, to Lois who he was um, and it just it opened up the the uh, opened up the floodgates for the type of stories that DC could tell with Lois and Clark um, I, th I really enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments down below do you have this issue uh, do you have it in such high regard that I do um, because yeah for me it's uh, it's certainly up there uh, I'll be very interested to know what you think. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. And um, hopefully I will catch you at the next one. Bye, guys.